guys and welcome to today's video. Uh, in today's video we are going to be doing tutorial in the kitchen. We're going to be focusing on the bookshelf, stuff like that. Random little bits, stuff that doesn't need to be in the kitchen, stuff that's in weird places in the kitchen. Yeah, but I really hope you guys enjoy today's videos. It's a little bit chaotic, it's a little bit messy, but I'm doing my best. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, this area has become a total mess as you can see. So I'm just going to quickly pick out the ones I know we don't use and we're not going to use and take them out and go from there and kind of rearrange and reorganize. It's Mary Berry. Now I love Mary Berry, but it's just, it's a... Um, a lot of the stuff in there I, could just, I personally wouldn't make, so, yeah. And um, we got these for free and we never use them. Very important, very essential to keep. An empty cardboard box. Bye-bye. Um, don't have a way anymore, so. Oh yeah, I found the disc for that in my room. You guys probably saw that video or it could have been in the box room, I'm not sure but it was completely wrecked, so that'll get recycled. Um, okay, I'm gonna put that to the side for the moment. Um, like, I really like Jerry Allen and um, her cookbooks, but um, I can honestly say I have never opened this book. So let me have a look. Brunch soup stirs. Galangel coriander. Ceviche. Um, it's a bit rich for my bud now, guys. I will ask my dad if he will use it, but I don't think that I will. Like, it's like recipes. But making bougie. Let's so put that over here. It's a navy pot for right now. Keeping Gordon. That, that hasn't been opened in about 15 years, guys. So. And bye bye. And it's so huge. Like, it really is so huge. Um, Irish food and folklore. I feel like this has some relevance to something. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, I got this in school. We helped to open up a um, help with the catering for an event they had. Oh my god, I got this lovely um, thing. Let me not open it on that page. Like, do you really need a recipe for a ham? Like, oil. What's that say? Irish spice beef. Pigeon? Ugh. Like, no shade if you eat it, but like, no thanks. Paris chicken with parsley. Um, I'm gonna put that in maybe because I want to peruse through that. That's a sentimental keep if it's anything. Homemade bread. We just don't use it, guys. Um, this was my mom's, so we will be keeping that one. Uh, I'll just put that back up there. That was from the show. I don't know if my dad wants that. Best ever recipes. Thanks, that really clarified things. I'm gonna go ahead and say I've never opened it, so. And this was from a student we have. Um, when, a good few years ago for in the summer, so that's a sentimental we'll movie, that. And then I'm gonna move into this pile of chaos. Um, Oh no, my dad. It ain't man. Um, I think this is a go, but I'll put it over here because again, it's not mine. It's not mine, I'll put it to the side. I will be keeping those. They are my favorite band. Oh crap. Sorry guys, I must hit off. Sorry, I have a 
I have a blanket around me, so I'll just take it off. Um, I hope this audio is okay because I just heard my headphones disconnect. So, hope you guys can still hear me. This is oh, I'm keeping that put that back up at the bottom here for the mo. I should put it on top for the moment. Um, this is a possibly for somebody else. Book, so yeah. Um, again, not mine. You just see this, guys. I don't even know what that is. What, what did I write on this? Oh yeah, okay. I'll put this over here. So happens when I run out of paper, I need to write something down, start writing in envelopes. Okay guys, sorry. Oh, there was something in here with my address on it that I'm keeping. So, pop that there. Um, that's not mine. We will be keeping that. Oh, this is the gardener we use. If you're in Dublin or surrounding counties, bring this guy, he's awesome. Right on, he's brilliant. Um, so they are a keep. And now you lay around a bit of paper, recycling. sticky tabs that we're never going to use so i need that's a manual warranty stuff for it is a new for the toaster same thing again sorry guys i just gotta be careful because we post and stuff up here so yeah i can be recycled to be honest um some coupons february 22 mm -hmm. Bye bye. January 22. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can go too. A receipt I don't need. A receipt I don't need. A receipt I don't need. Food. Are we getting a running trend here? Some paper. Rubbish. Keep. Some vouchers that expired in May. Bye bye. So much more crap up here than I realised. Adidas? Oh, I know, that's off, that's rubbish. Tau. Like, bye. That should have already been recycled. Oh, yeah, guys, friendly notice, reminder for all of you. Give me one second, I'm just gonna close this door over. Um, check your first aid kits. Very important. Check it, check the dates. If something says, um, if you get this little thingy on it, it's expired. It's literally how old this is, guys. 2006. And I know a lot of people say, oh, it's a bandage. Bandages don't expire. No, no, the bandage itself does not expire, but the adhesive and the packaging does, which means the bandage is no longer sterile. And if you've been sitting, especially I know a lot of people keep them in your bathrooms, uh, there's nothing stopping all the bacteria and all the other crap in the air getting into them and sitting up soaking all the moisture and everything in the air so yeah check them if you haven't checked your first aid kit recently go through it some stuff has a way shorter shelf life than you think would anybody like some paracetamol that expired in april 2006 no no takers that's probably a good idea april okay i'm just gonna close this guys and we're just gonna call that a bye bye okay bye bye um, 2007, 2008. It's not mine, but I'm gonna put it over there. I'm gonna assume it's a go, but I'm gonna grab it. The ultimate story of court. Pretty sure that was worn with something. Anyway, sorry, I'm gonna take the uh, food menus down. Don't wanna dox myself. Um, sorry guys, I just have to be super careful here because obviously my name in my address our own thing okay this is herbs and spices from shorts i'm gonna go ahead and say this i think this is as old as i am so i'm gonna let it go bye 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 oh yeah so i did um this living world program 
it's great it works you should try it if you want or don't if you don't want whatever keeping well this winter from the hsa well i've already read that so dang they'll probably waste some more paper around this here so you know anyway i have all these cookbooks and to be honest they don't need to be in the kitchen because i don't use them um You know what? I could keep these all. I could argue with myself and go, oh, you might do it again. And there's some great recipes and blur, 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 blur. But like, I've had this stuff for years and I haven't read them. There's like two of them I read. Um, what I'll do is I'll go through all of these, see if there's any recipes I like. Yeah, and go through them. But I doubt there will be. Like, getting that I'd. Like, this is the director from 2017. But, like, someone might find that helpful for some of the stuff. It's like the sim values. Like, it's like points in Weight Watchers, basically. But, yeah, we kept all these, like... Like, guys, let's tell you how all these are. Home bread making with electricity. Okay? Okay? I don't know, should I, like, get rid of this or give it to the, uh... Give it to the museum? Ooh! Something fell. I don't know what this recipe's for. Um, it's my mom's right now, not that much. Does it say it on it? Raisins. Sometimes you raisins. Do you know what? Put that on the side. Um, cook pan. We actually still have that. I would really like to recycle it. But, yeah, it's just... You can see when it was made, guys. What's this, like, 80s designs? I'm not sure if they had to put registered trademarks and stuff back then so yeah a publishing dates i don't think they did but anyway i'll put that side on slab the machine can wood mixer we still have it it still works it's older than i am pressure cooker that's gone shamrock bye bye see you later um so sorry i want to take these off to the side because these are recycling Little book of summer, little book of barbecue, little book of menus. I may decide to allow those three for the moment. I'm good. Apple TV remote. It's a little Tao thingy I got. I got it off Kickstarter, little charger thing. They're pretty cool. They only charge about 25%, though, but they're good for an emergency. Vitamins. Dead battery needs to go into the recycling. Put it in the recycling pile. This little jar. That's why I hate it. Every time you touch it, everything falls out. Do you know what? I'm gonna get them in a minute. It's fine. That is a one gigabyte card. I'll have to see what's on. I think it's empty. I think I cleared that already, but I'll leave it for the moment. Random empty box. Okay, sorry guys. This is a plastic bag, like, bye bye. See you later. Oh, this is a gorgeous present I got. I didn't even know where this was right in front of my face. Okay, I need to put it up in my room. Um, I'm not, I think my dad got that in this. He won this prize for this raffle and had like loads of random stuff in it. Um, this is probably a go, but I'll put it to the side for now. George Orwell, I'm just Catalina. It's been read to death. Um, do, do, do. I think these are both go. Again, I will check all these additional things with my dad because they're not mine. Not mine. Um, another slipping little book. Ooh. Sorry guys, yeah, just little notepads, keep them. The dress book. It's so funny guys, I got this when I was in scale, this cookbook, and I use it more than any of them. These two, it has like recipes for flipping everything in them, these two. Okay. Sorry guys, this is just information from the tax office about my core. I got a new core. I don't know if I shared that with you guys, but I got a new core. Um, we have a house blessing here. Um, okay, for right now, guys, I'm just gonna stick it up there. Now I have a look here. There's all the wonderful women in my family. Unfortunately, only four of them are still with us. Pictures I've taken a couple of years back. It's also some wonderful women in my family. I come from I come from a long line of wonderful women. This looks like a penny's leaves if ever I see. Yeah, Primark. 
don't know what it is, don't care. Bye bye. Some napkins that have been sitting on a shelf for six months. Anybody want to wipe their face with them? No? Okay. Oh yeah, I thought I lost these. So guys, I went to the, if you're ever in visiting Ireland, go to the Titanic Experience. There's one in Cove in County Cork and I got this one in uh, Belfast in the Titanic Experience. It's like all the different like posters and sorry, it was such a weird angle. Advertisements, but I love it. I'm obsessed with the Titanic. It's so awesome. I'm so interested in having it for like my whole life. Um, and a cassette of something. Now kids, if you're under 30, and even if you are 30, you may have never seen a cassette before. <laughs> this is what they look like. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're looking much better, guys. We are looking a heck of a lot better. Now, I picked up some books the other day for five euro in the charity shop that I'm really happy with. I got Forever Summer and I got Nigella Express. Now, for any of you who know, if you've bought Nigella books, they're quite pricey. They're about 30 euro. But yeah, so I got them for a fiver. I was like, get in. This is written, this is a book written by um, a very good friend of my dad's and um, friend of mine's, her dad. Well, they are dad, the two girls, but anyway. So, yeah. Now, Pleasure of the Table, Theodore Spriven, I'm quite sure I bought that for my mom. Um, if you guys know Donald Skeehan, the chef, you might know him from TV, from YouTube, from... Anyway, that's his, he, he wrote this book and uh, Theodore Skeehan, I believe, was his grandmother. So it's like her old recipes. She was a famous, um, famous chef. So if we go with what I think we should keep. Now I may, bear in mind, as I always mentioned to you, I may be overruled here. So this is my theory on this. Ignore the dust, okay? Pretend it's not there. I'm trying to, it's not going well, but I'm trying. Ooh, look at me being a smart cookie. I already took out my duster. Jesus, I'm ahead of myself, lads. I'm ahead of myself. Um, I know this is probably so random around filming and everything, like just like randomly decided to film and it's like quarter to 11 at night. Sure, look, that's how we roll, guys. That's how we roll sometimes. Oh, beautiful. Get the front splash and I will wipe. Needs a proper wipe, but that's not a right now problem. We're trying to focus on decluttering. There's a bit of cool advice, guys. If you're decluttering, declutter. If you start cleaning. I also got a Marilyn Monroe book. Doesn't really look right there. It's gonna be there for the minute. Um but the so they just keep falling out. It drives me demented. Who likes my elder one pen? Right. If you like Harry Potter, you know what this is. If you don't like Harry Potter, Google it. Also Go read Harry Potter or watch the movies, whatever you like. Thermometer just because obviously COVID. Uh, I just, that's my, just my, my vitamins. I'm going to pop these up here. There's some lovely memorial cards we got. Oh, here we are. So all this like, sorry, because I have to cover my address. All of this here is like paperwork. So I will tidy that up and put that away and file it. Um, but yeah, pretty much this be how we're looking. Now, some of this may go back in. I honestly don't think it will. Because I've kind of talked to my dad about it already. But yeah, I'll update you guys later. But anyway, I think that's a very healthy declutter pile. And a very healthy recycling pile. And I am under supervision in case anybody is concerned. It's trying to take a water break. It's very hard work. It's very stressful work. Um, but yeah, there he is, the man himself. Maxi! Yeah, he's happy, he's happy. Oh, he's ready, he's done. He's, I think he says we're done. Yeah, we're good, okay. Check back in with you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so, so far here's the declutter pro. And we have this lovely open empty space here, so. Um, we're probably going to sell this or give it, donate it away. Um, I bought it for my dad because he loves making bread, but he just really hasn't had any use out of it, which is fair enough. Like, 
Um, but yeah, so kind of trying to find a. Um, sorry, I just got to pop these here. A better kind of use for this shelf, as much as I like the open space. What I don't love is all the crap on the counter here. So I decided I'm gonna try and pop this stuff up here. Let's see how it looks like that. These things here, like these don't have to be here. Um, for the moment, I'll pop them up here, but. Pop that there. And get some of this. Sorry, you guys can't really see what I'm doing. I'm just moving it in the way. So like we've a lot of candles here and I would prefer them to be in the press, but sure, you know, stuff comes out of presses. So I said, I'll try and see if I can do something up here that looks a little bit nicer. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's rather dusty. There's some Max fur on it as well. You can see there on top of them. I'll give them a wipe in a second. Um, oh yeah, so where's my duster? Oh, here we are. And I kind of want to make this look like, you know, the stuff wasn't just dumped here, like it's meant to be here. So, um, let me work on that. Now, if you guys, oh sorry, I can't even see what I'm doing. If you guys saw, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry, just before, um, I had a lot of this stuff. In this, actually, I'm gonna go through this press, so I wasn't going to, but look, this stage, but yeah, I need to go through here. So, like, look, look, we've like random candles. Like, like, what is happening? Like, I hate that. Like, it's fine, but like, no. Um, I'm gonna go through this and see if there's something we can reduce in here, because this is just a freaking mess. Anyway, so at least now we're gonna have a more kind of empty countertop um of stuff i'm still making a decision on these i may let these go like there's some cool recipes and whatever but like they're enormous you know even if i take the magazines out and get rid of the folders because it's huge like some of the reports there's another bloody candle it's the funny thing guys we have seventeen thousand candles nobody they never get burned <coughs> Oh, I'm gonna come over here. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't do well to dust. Um, yeah, you see, I'm looking at myself here, but not here. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're, I'm just trying to work on this kind of area of the kitchen, get it back up and running, get it cleaned up. Um, there's just so much crap on the counters, and there's like a lot of dust. And then, obviously, because there's so much crap on this counter up here, this upper counter, we don't use it. Because there's so much crap on it and then it gets covered in dust because it's not used so it's just a waste of uh, like counter space and stuff and i know my um i'm shooting kind of a little bit different than usual you put my camera on the tripod and whatever but just i'm getting what i can get done done just it's easier for me it's quicker for me and i get more done with this so hopefully it's not the footage isn't too bad you guys can see it okay that is the end of today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it satisfying and entertaining and hopefully picked up a few tips along the way. Um, I also added this little piece in here, it was on the counter, just to kind of give it a central focal point, and also to get it off the counter, because the whole point was to clear the counter. I also think this looks a lot more organized and a lot tidier, and I'm happy with the fact that now we just have the cookbooks and stuff that we're going to use. So, you know, I think it's way better to have it that way and actually get use out of them than having 30 books that I'm never gonna look at. Anyway, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. And if you are interested in seeing more of my videos, you can consider subscribing down below. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified every time a video goes live on my channel. I hope you guys are all keeping well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. 
Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, a fantastic weekend and a wonderful week ahead. And I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.